Welcome to a journey from concept to code. In the first half of this video, we dive into the theoretical backbone of retrieval augmented generation, vector stores and embeddings. Then, brace yourself for a hands-on Python coding session, where we'll craft a proof of concept using Grimm's fairy tales. Let's dive into theory first. In RAG applications, we focus on two main parts. Indexing, where we prep and organize data backstage, and retrieval and generation, where user queries come alive, fetching and modeling data in the spotlight. Let's delve into the process of preparing and storing data for language models. First, we load our data with document loaders akin to setting the stage. Then, text splitters slice large documents into manageable chunks because, let's face it, no one likes unwieldy data. Lastly, these pieces are neatly stored in a vector store, ready for their retrieval queue. In response to a user's question, the system retrieves relevant information from a vector store, crafts a prompt incorporating this data, and then uses a language model to generate an articulate answer. Let's dive deeper into the concept of embeddings. You've probably heard about it, given its prominence in the AI field. Essentially, when we discuss embedding, we're talking about a specific type of vector. Consider this visual representation I have here. Notice the two dimensions we're working with. One axis transitions from tree to animal, and the other shifts from big to small. Within this grid, we've placed four distinct images. By plotting these images based on the two dimensions, we can instantly discern relationships. For instance, even though an elephant is an animal, in terms of size, it aligns more closely with the tree than with the mouse. That's the essence of embedding. We're mapping relationships, gauging proximity and distance. But remember, while our visual is in two dimensions, in AI, embedding can operate in hundreds or thousands of dimensions. Embeddings transform data into a vector dimension, a sequence of numbers. Look at our elephant visual. The vector values on its right depict its associations. Animal, forest, big, tree, and zoo. Embedding models come pre-trained. They grasp relationships between data points. For instance, elephant and animal are seen as closely related. Yet, in different contexts, elephant could be an animal while mouse might not. You've likely come across names like Pinecone or Chroma. While embedding models turn data into vector representations, we need a specialized place to store and efficiently retrieve these vectors. That's where databases like Chroma and Pinecone step in. They're experts at storing and fetching vector data. And now, from theory to practice, let's roll up our sleeves and start building it with Python code. We begin, as always, by crafting a virtual environment. It's like tidying up before the real fun begins. After activating this digital sanctuary, we create AppPy and our text database of crime fairy tales. I stumbled upon a goldmine of free fairy tales online, which we'll now diligently transfer to our text file through the time-honored tradition of copy-paste. After removing non-fairy tale content, we're ready to use this as our data foundation. Here's our mission recap. First, we load the text file, then slice it into manageable chunks. Next, we embed and store them, preparing for Langchain and RAG to retrieve and answer, efficiently piecing together the data puzzle. Adding the necessary imports is our first step in this tech recipe. Next, we load the documents using text loader, which takes the text file as an argument. The loader load function steps in to bring our documents to life. Next, we use Langchain's character text splitter with a chunk size of 1000 and an overlap of 100 to split the loaded document into chunks. It's embedding time, where we magically transform documents into a format Chroma understands.
Now we can start the retrieval process using the retrieval QA from chain method. We pass this method the OpenAI language model, the chain type, and our retriever, which in this case is our ChromaDB. Next, we formulate our query. We want to know the different traits Hans encounters on his journey. We then display the query results on the screen. Let's give it a shot and cross our fingers, hoping for a smooth digital sale. Wait, we hit a snag with OpenAI. Seems we forgot to invite Langchain to the party. Time for some quick installations. For this, we need dependencies like Langchain, Langchain Community, Langchain OpenAI, and ChromaDB. Now that everyone's here, let's retry and see if our digital soiree is a success. And here we have our chunk creation, where sticking to the specified size of 1000 seems to be more of a gentle suggestion than a rule. And voila, our query is answered, proving that even in the world of AI, fairy tales do come true. In summary, we journeyed from understanding the RAG theory and data preparation to hands-on Python coding with Grimm's fairy tales, transforming abstract concepts into practical applications. If you're eager to dive deeper into the world of LLMs and see more such practical implementations, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on our future content.